guys, today we're going to take a look at the HPC Pocket Killer Kit. Kind of an unusual name. Uh, I'd never heard it, but a lot of you asked for this, so I decided to take a look at it. And I had high hopes. Uh, when I opened up the box, inside everything was wrapped up in this tissue paper. You know how like expensive leather wallets and those expensive pieces of clothing your wife brings home are wrapped up in that stuff? It gives you an idea that something valuable is inside. So I was pretty excited. Opened it up, saw what I thought was a leather case. Looks like genuine leather. Opened it up to look at the inside. And in fact, HPC got their logo and it says genuine leather, but you know what? It didn't look like it. I didn't, I was, I'm a doubter. So I cut a tiny piece of leather off of the corner, thinking that I was gonna find a solid piece of plastic, but you know what? It truly is leather. And what they've done is adhere some kind of felt on the inside to pad the case and to, I guess make it so you won't scratch those picks. So pretty nice case and yeah, it really is leather. When you take a look at the picks and some of the extra stuff, I think you realize that it really is not just a lock pick. It's not for pin tumblers. It is a car bypass slash lock pick kit. A lot of these picks you're going to recognize because we use them for pin tumblers, but I think this truly is for a car kit. Uh, let's start off with the tensioners. And for the tensioners, you got a little washer holding a spring steel shutter lock. So if you're going to pick locks on cars, you're definitely going to need one of these guys. And he is the he's the perfect size and a lot of springiness in there. I got to say, um, you also get three tensioners. Now, I took a close look at these. I thought it was the large, medium, and the thin one. And I looked at these guys a little closer. In fact, I measured them. I m used a micrometer, and these are identical thicknesses. If I can get that camera to cooperate. I don't know why they would give you the two of the thick ones. These measure uh, 0.125 inches or 3.2 millimeters uh, in thickness. The only difference is one of them is almost exactly one inch longer than the other one. That's the only difference. No medium thickness, but you do get the thin one, and that measures point. 0.95 inches or 2.5 millimeters in thickness. Again, no medium tensioner. Maybe you don't need it on cars. I really don't know. In terms of picks, you actually get 10 picks. Uh, you get four with these sandwiched handles. Let's take a look at those. The, these are, I got to say, these are pretty hefty. They are steel handles that are have steel rivets on them, and they are stamped with the HP lo HPC logo uh, on both sides. Pretty well done. These are thicker than we used to, which adds a substantial amount of heft to these. So when you hold these, it gives you a feeling of confidence, um, but they, they are just made out of spring steel. It's 20 thousandth of an inch, and they are not finished. They are tumbled, but they're not finished. If you look closely, you can see some grinding marks and almost all of these picks. Now they do clean right up. I cleaned up this next one. I've taken to doing that because I want to know what's underneath them. And this is uh, about two minutes with some 400 grit sandpaper. So you get a short hook and two minutes is all it took really. And all I'm after, I don't want a perfectly mirror finish. I just want to round off the sharp edges so that when I slide it into the keyway, it's not giving me that, it's not like I'm shoving a saw blade up inside of there. So they do clean up very, very nice. Um, you get an S rake or a snake rake. In fact, you're going to get a couple of these things. You get multiples of these. And then the last one, of course, is a snowman with the sandwiched handle. So those are pretty popular picks for going after car locks. These are four with handles, and then you get four more with no handles. These are just straight up flats. Now, here's where some weirdness comes in. You get two half diamonds. Now, you already got one here, but now you got two more, but without handles on them. You have a short hook here. You also get a short hook with no handle. And then you get an S rake um, or snake rake, just like that one. Same thickness, same everything, but with no handles. You don't get another snowman. Uh, again, I can't explain it. I didn't design the kit. And then the last two picks are these two. You think you guys have seen these before. Um, these also are the same thickness, same 20,000th. On one end, you have the double ender. It is a half diamond. And on the other end is a, another pick. And this would be kind of like the W rake for those kinetic attacks. I don't know if the, how effective that would be on a car, but that's what you got. You got two of these. So in case you break one, I guess uh, you got an extra. You've also got two extractors. A lot of times you get called out, people have broken their keys off in their car. So that's one job where you're probably going to need an extractor of some kind. This is the typical giant harpoon. You guys have seen this before. This one's a little thicker. 
This one is 22 thousandths of an inch thick. Nice sharp barb. And definitely we're getting those double sided uh, keyways on cars. Another one you don't see very often. This is kind of a, it looks like a saw blade. In fact, if you look at the top of it, you can see those teeth are offset. So it probably really started out life as a saw blade. They put it inside of this brass tube. They smashed it down right there. And now it's nice and secure in there. You can use that to pull your keys out as well. I've never used one like that, but probably would be effective. It is hardened steel after all, so why not? All right, those are the things that you can use for pin tumblers. And the, the real unique stuff is right here. Now, if you, a lot of you guys have gun cleaning kits, and you have these threaded rods on them. Uh, these are these are all segmented. You just screw them into one another. This thing stretches out to about a meter long, and on the end of it, you can screw one of three tips. Let me show you the one that I don't know what it goes to first. Oh, this little guy fell off. This is one of the tips. I don't know if this is some type of special unlock slot on some cars or to twist some kind of activator inside of the car door. I really don't know. I'm not a car door kind of guy, but when you get to the last rod, it just screws right on there, and, and there you go. You can put that tip on. If you don't want to use that tip, uh, you got a couple others to play with, and this one I actually do like. Uh, screws on. you got one meter long. On the end of it, you slide it in the car door, either from the top and then you use this to work it in and pull the doorknob and twist it and you can pop open the door handle or you can go in from the side and do the same thing or from the top uh, the back of the window and slide it open that way again with a twisting action so pretty cool and then the last one you guys have seen before it's exactly like a Slim Jim except it threads onto this rod it does exactly the same thing it releases the locking uh, rods inside of the door so very cool being able to do that this is a unique tool. I've never seen this sold uh, segmented like this, and I, I went looking. I couldn't find it. They call it the, the Pocket Killer Slim Jim. It's only offered as part of this kit, apparently. So that explains why they're able to charge kind of a premium, more than kind of, quite a bit of premium. Uh, this kit, I found it, as I said, online in uh, several different places. I should have went shopping and done a little better job. Uh, ranging in price from the high of $127 for everything you see down to a low of $85. I'll put the low link in, in the description. If you absolutely have to have this collapsible kit, this collapsible mini killer Slim Jim, this is really the only place you're going to be able to get it. Um, all right. I'm going to do a giveaway, but I never give away partial kits. Um, in my view, there's a lot of missing things from this. So I'm going to go ahead and plus them up. I'm even going to throw in that little piece of leather. All right, first of all, we need a deep hook and we need a medium hook. So deep hook, I'm going to throw in this guy. I have an extra Southord Max Steel. It is a DeForest Diamond. Throw that guy in. I'm also going to throw in a Max Steel short hook, 25,000. So pretty tough stuff. I'm also going to throw in the W. This is a true W with the reinforced under the last one. It's also Southord Max Steel or South Max. Very tough stuff and it'll be a lot better than trying to use one of these thin spring steel things. And then the last one, because they didn't give you a snowman here, I'm going to go ahead and throw in a Max Steel snowman and his brother, the ball. So throw all those are Max Steel from Southord. Um, I got to looking and you really don't have, you have one rake and that would be that snake rake so i think there's definite shortage there i have an extra mad bobs and twenty-five thousand. beautiful this comes pre-finished from mad bobs again it's an extra but i'm going to add that to this kit and then you need a thin bogota so this is a peterson bogey and eighteen thousand, as shown by the purple handle and the last pick i'm going to throw in is a true medium hook uh, a Peterson Reach in 15,000. That's why it's got that blue handle. All right, that's not all, guys. Got one more item I'm going to throw in. I'm going to throw in a full link. This is from Sparrows, but this is a true Slim Jim, very tough, made out of stainless steel. The bad side is this will not fit in this kit, but everything else will. This is going to have to be carried, I guess, in your backpack or, I don't know, your problem, not mine. Anyway, fellas, you want to win all this stuff. All you got to do, you know what to do, go to that website. Register to win. Next Saturday, I will have a drawing, and the lucky winner will get everything that you see here. Anyway, fellas, thanks for your time. Stay safe. Stay legal. Stay legal.